Mobile communication. I think we take it for granted. Welcome back to Talking with Jazz with your host, Big Daddy. When I was young, I was obsessed by mobile communication. We didn't call it mobile communication. We called it walkie talkies. I love the idea that you could walk and talk. The technology was in fact very poor quality and you could only get a few hundred meters worth of walking and talking communication. I just thought it was fantastic. And my friend, John, he went to America where the rules on walkie talkies were a bit looser. You see, Australia has very strict rules about communications and so on. It's, it's loosened up a lot now. But in those days, if you wanted a transmitter, you had to buy a license or qualify or something like that. Except in America, you could buy a walkie talkie at a shop, any old shop. There were shops devoted to walkie talkies, but I suspect they just bought them from a department store as a children's toy. Anyway, I was just mad about these walkie talkies that John had. And one day, I was at his house. And I said, can we play walkie talkies? Because that'd be fun. And he's like, nah, it's boring. And I know why it's boring, because like, it, they just chew up batteries. They're just rubbish technology. Anyway, and he went out of the room. And I thought, I'll just have a look at these lovely little talkie talkies. And I pulled one out and I opened it up and extended the aerial like this. And I was just there pretending to talk to myself, you know, sending Morse code. Beep, 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 beep. It was so much fun, right? Then he was going to come back into the room. So I got the aerial and I did this. <laughs> Telescopic aerial. Anyway, it didn't work out like that. It went <laughs> and it broke. Which not only broke my heart, but broke John's heart as well. And as much as I was trying to say, sorry, sorry, I no longer, etc. Sorry. So, you know, I broke your walkie-talkie. I later found out that they got thrown in the bin because it didn't really break. I mean, it was just a little top. You could sticky tape it back together. It would have worked perfectly well, but that was the way they were in our house. If something was half broken, they wouldn't bother repairing it. They'd just throw it out. Not me. I've still got walkie-talkies from... Uh, 1982 sitting in a box another friend and I bought a pair of walkie talkies each we bought them from Nick and Nick didn't want to use them so we bought them from him and these were really powerful ones I think they might have been smuggled into Australia you know when you could do that sort of thing again you couldn't buy them at shops it wasn't until the late 80s, I think, that they actually brought in laws that allowed you to buy relatively powerful walkie-talkies during the CB craze. But that's another story. We can talk about CBs. But anyway, my friend and I, Lorne, we would talk to each other on our walkie-talkies. Unfortunately, he did have to be about 500 metres away. And we had lots of fun. We used to go out at night and talk. I mean, I don't know why we were doing it. We didn't have any real plans or anything. But it just showed how much fun you could have with something so simple. And that today, we take completely for granted. Why don't you have a great day?